Welcome everyone in Leicester and Otbrook and around the world. Welcome today on the first Sunday after the Trinity Sunday. Brother Cliff Winfield will bring the message to us today, but before we will listen to a reading from the Bible. Jesus went round visiting all the towns and villages. He taught in the synagogues, preached the good news about the kingdom, and healed people with every kind of disease and sickness. As he saw the crowds, his heart was filled with pity for them, because they were worried and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. So he said to his disciples, The harvest is large, but there are few workers to gather it in. Pray to the owner of the harvest, that he will send out workers to gather in his harvest. Jesus called his twelve disciples together and gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James and his brother John, the sons of Zebedee. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, son of Alphaeus. And Thaddeus, Simon the Patriot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. These twelve men were sent out by Jesus with the following instructions. Do not go to any Gentile territory or any Samaritan towns. Instead, you are to go to those lost sheep, the people of Israel. Go and preach, the kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, bring the dead back to life. Heal those who suffer from dreaded skin diseases and drive out demons. You have received without paying, so give without being paid. When Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were worried and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Worried and helpless is a good description for many of us today worried by the coronavirus and the rising death rate, concerned about the lockdown regulations. Are they being eased off too soon or not soon enough? There are other health issues. Are these being neglected because of COVID-19? Are we worried about the rising tensions in the USA and racism in our own country? Concerned about refugees, areas of conflict, worried about climate change. There are economic worries as well, about unemployment, affordable housing, paying our church bills. The list at present time seems endless. Social distancing, are we going to be able to be in our buildings? If you follow the news, it is easy to get the feeling there are many things to worry about and we are helpless to try and do anything about these things. We can be overwhelmed and forget to thank God for the many blessings and the good people all around us. In Psalm 100 we read, Sing to the Lord all the world. Worship the Lord with joy. Come before him with happy songs. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people. We are his flock. Enter the temple gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise him. The Lord is good. His love is eternal and his faithfulness lasts forever. The Lord is good. His love is eternal and his faithfulness lasts forever. Romans 5, 8 reminds us that God has shown how much he loves us by Christ dying for us, while we were still sinners, that you and I were prodigals. Jesus saw the helpless people, 
and recognised the need was great. The harvest is large and the work is few. In our reading from Matthew, whose gospel, Jesus sends out twelve, including Jesus Iscariot, to help bring in the harvest. We know from gospel passages that seventy were sent out in twos. Today it is our turn to bring in the harvest, and we may think we are not qualified, but neither were the first disciples. Jesus is our Good Shepherd. We go out in his name and his Holy Spirit to guide and comfort us. One of the songs that had been sung by Beverly Knight in aid of the NHS and the carers is Lean on Me by Bill Withers. Lean on me when you're not strong, I'll be your friend, I'll help you carry on, I'll share your load if you just call on me. As we serve, we lean on Jesus. Jesus talked about sharing his yoke in Matthew's Gospel as well. Today, shepherds are not as common as they were in Jesus' day. But we do have many bus drivers and they have been greatly affected by COVID-19. Here is a true story of the good bus driver. Jill and I were going to Nottingham on the bus. At a stop there was a couple, a lady in a wheelchair and a man with a case. As they got on the bus and showing their passes, the lady said, have you, have you remembered the key to the caravan? They were going to Nottingham to catch the train to Skegness. Oh, oh no, the man said. We'll have to get off. The driver asked, where is the key? At home, just around the corner, came the reply. At that, the driver said, I am a bit ahead of schedule and to the man said go home fetch the key and we will wait and that is what happened and the couple continued on their holiday today Jesus is our good bus driver there is a new footbridge over the A52 going into Derby and we may worry about the redundancies at Rolls Royce and the small businesses in Derby. Will our town centres survive? Simon and Garfunkel sang about a bridge over troubled waters. When you're weary, feeling small, when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. I'm on your side. Oh, when times get rough and friends just can't be found, like a bridge over troubled waters, I will lay me down. Jesus is our good shepherd. He is also our bridge over troubled waters. That's another song sung for the key workers in this troubled time. We must lean on Jesus and his Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Jesus, we remember that you are our good shepherd, that you care for us in our joys and sorrows. Help us to remember this and to lean on you, for you are our bridge over these troubled times. And Lord, we ask that your Holy Spirit will enable us to overcome our sorrows and be joyful in your service. Amen.
Be with you always and give you peace. Amen.